What's going on YouTube? Welcome back here at the channel Kings TCG and today we're coming at you with the brand new Megatin of 2024. We are talking about the 25th anniversary dueling mirrors tin and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean the Megatins are one of the highlights of the year always and only by looking at this artwork I'm already getting really excited. So many iconic cards here on the tin itself. So it's very shiny. That looks very good. And um, now we are going to see what's inside. I mean, this is a very big set, almost uh, or around 400 cards. They, these include three mega packs with 13 uh, cards per pack. We have one QCR one secret rare and three ultras per pack along with eight commons so a very big set a lot of different opportunities to pull so even without even within one total case of 12 tins you won't pull the entire set so um yeah i'm really curious what we are going to pull this opening so let's dive straight on into this we got four tins to open up so let's see what we can get before we start don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this. And check out the Instagram page, KingCCG, Loba Yu-Gi-Oh! Links in the description down below. So hopefully we'll pull some amazing QCRs. I mean, that's the rarity of this tin, of course. The rarity of the year, the rarity of the moment. So let's see what we can get. As I said, three packs per tin. Let's start with the first one. All right, we start with a click and echo, Supreme King, Dragon Light Worm, a Shadowed Colorless Realm, Doomstar Ulka. Our first Ultra, we got a Kyora Getsu. We got a Banishing Trap Hole. A Purely Yip. We got a Despian Lulu Wallet. Nice. Love this secret rare. Rarity. Beautiful. And then I'm suggesting that the QCR is coming right now. Oh, nice! It's Yubel as a QCR. That's amazing. Yubel is really hot at the moment. Yubel archetype was never as strong as it is right now. So pulling this card is absolutely insane. Very nostalgic and very popular at the moment. So really, really beautiful. We got a Kashtira Overlap, Manadian Breakheart, Intimidating or Summit Fallen of Argyros. And that's it. So pretty amazing start. As you all could see, we got eight commons, three ultras, one secret, one QCR. And of course, the ultras, the secrets, the QCR, those are the very interesting cards. I mean, the commons aren't that special. It's just maybe when you play a specific deck where you can use one of those. But the, uh, the higher rarities of course the most interesting one and the best cards alongside that all right we got the info noble knight to a pen fire archetypes really hot literally instant contact and sweet dreams nemleria now for our secret spirit of you bell all right we got a you bell tin right here like that and we got rank up magic arsenal force as a qcr what a rarity. This will never be boring, guys. Absolutely insane rarity. Synchro Overtop, Brightest Blazing Branded King. And we got a Comet General. All right. Let's see if we will get a Ubel card in this as well. <laughs> Rebirth of the Seven Emperors, Synchro World, Pendulum Moon. Okay, we got an Ursatic Polar Star. We got a Melfi Hide and Seek. A lot of Melfi cards in here. We got Extinguish. We have Centurion Trudea. 
All right. And oh, nice light and darkness dragon. Really cool. Kenobi's special summon will face up on the field. This card is also dark attribute. Once per chain, when the spell slash trap or monster effect activated, lose 500 attack and negate activation. Beautiful card. We got Manticore, Land Flipping, Behemoth, the King of 100 Battles, Double Dust Tornado Twins. So, guys, this was it for the first stain, but I'm so happy that we got three more to open. Because, to be honest, I can do this ho the whole day. And with me, a lot of you guys as well, I think. Really, really hyped for this set. As I said, it's a big set, so no opening will be the same. That's also a fun part of it, of course. A lot of beautiful cards in here, so let's see. All right, we got Saw Scheduling, Sign the Circuit, Xyz and Trust, Super Heavy Samurai, interesting archetype. Always wanted to play this one. We got Mimesis Elephant as an Ultra, Galaxy 100, and X Purely Noir. All right, really, really big card for the purely archetype. We have Damutev Blessing of Horus. All right, this is uh, a card of the King Sarcophagus archetype or Horus archetype, however you want to call it, but nice one. And oh, <laughs> oh wow, a left leg, no, the right leg of the Forbidden One. Oh my days, in a QCR. Like how insane is it to pull the full Exodia in a QCR, guys? To continue, Epic of Charles and Thundercross. Oh wow, this card looks absolutely flawless. Beautiful. Wow, look at that, guys. Insane. I knew that the Exodia pieces were in here, but when I pulled it, I <laughs> realized it again, and it's just absolutely insane to see that one in this rarity. Really beautiful. I don't know if every piece is in here. I don't know if the head is in here as well. I'm doubting if the head is in here, but... Really, really cool. I believe that one was printed in another set as a QCR. So you can have a complete QCR Exodia right now. But I'm not 100% sure, so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. We got Memento Mictlan. We got Rescue Ace HQ and Melfi Wally. We got, oh nice, Big Winged Baphomet. Really cool. And <laughs> Parallel Exceed, all right. This card can come in handy in a lot of decks, a lot of Xyz decks. Really beautiful to see that one as a QCR. We got Seri of the Silver Wing X and Double Hooking. So I can't complain with these pools, guys. Really, really nice ones. Can't wait what's next in store for us. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tin. I'm really curious about your opinion. In my opinion, this tin is amazing. The only like downfall is that it's such a big set of 400 cards. So the bigger chase cards are very difficult to pull. In my opinion, even more difficult than it already was. So that's a bit of a downside, but the tins look amazing. It includes amazing cards and I just love to open these products. So. And for now, I can't complain with these pools. But let me know what's your opinion. We got Startling Stare of the Snake Eyes, Rescue Ace Fire Engine, and we got Urbound Servant J.O. Gremlina. Now for the secret, Snake Eye Birch, all right. Level one fire monster, very strong archetype at the moment, Snake Eye. And we have Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend. Really nice uh, reprint. Beautiful. Especially in this rarity. Escape Goat and Minari Ruka. 
All right, some very interesting pulls. Can't complain about this thing either. And the good news is guys, we're only halfway. So if you like this video, if you like this content, please give this video a like, comment on the channel. I mean, that's really important for us to keep growing and keep doing this stuff. Check out the Instagram page, Kings TCG Loba Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll put the link in the description down below. And for now, let's continue. The fun is not over. And I believe all these cards printed on the tin uh, are in here as QCRs as well. So, Tomb Kingdom or Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Girl. I'll be happy if I pull one of those. We already pulled you bells, so that's nice. But of course, they print iconic monsters on these tins. And seeing one of those in the QCR is absolutely amazing. Couple of aces, Split Mirror, The Underworld, Tenchi, Kaimai, Kaimei. We got the card scanner. I always have to think about dual links if I see this. Uh, this little man right here. We got Rescue Ace Impulse. We got Agnimal Candle, a Pyro Tuna. We have Talonite Liren. And now for our secret, we have. Oh, nice! Ohimi the Manifested Mikanko. Strong archetype. Hey, we got the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots as a QCR. Also, one of the cards printed, so. They heard my prayers, where is it? Uh, there, you see? Uh, yep. <laughs> Alright. Amazing. We have Antillian, Epic of Charles, Realm, Resonance and Ogdardic Daybreak. Mekanko is a very strong archetype based around these ritual monsters. We have Kitsunu, Mental Tuna, Giant Ball Game, Mekanko Spirit Walk. Okay, Wheel Synchron. Another Expurely Noir. And Diabolica the Dragonic General. Look at that artwork. Absolutely amazing. We have Full Armor Dark Knight Lancer. Really cool. And for our QC, ah, oh, yes, we got Borolo Dragon. Another one printed on the tin. So, as I said, they heard my prayers. Hopefully, we can continue pulling these cards. Absolutely beautiful. Damn, we can't complain at all. Really happy with the pull so far. Shell of Chaos. Really beautiful. Last pack of the third tin. Numeron Creation, Teleho, Springens, Click and Echo, Centurion Bonds. We got Mimesis Elephant. Okay, Manadium Fearless. That's a good card. For our secret, we got Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws. Beautiful. And. Yeah! <laughs> wow! Guys, we pulled Dark Magician Girl as a QCR. <laughs> As I asked for before I opened this tin, let us pull those iconic cards printed on the tins, and we did it three times in a row. Now we have the Dark Magician Girl, maybe the best card printed on the tin, at least the most iconic together with blue eyes. Absolutely insane. What a great pull, guys. What a great pull. And the best artwork of Dark Magician Girl, in my opinion. Just the first original artwork is, in my opinion, the very, very best. Same is for Dark Magician Blue Eyes. I just like the original first artworks absolutely the most. So much nostalgia. So, guys, and it's not over yet. <laughs> we still got one beauty of a box or a tin, I have to say, to open up here. 
Hopefully we can keep pulling these really, really great cars. Exist, Dragon Cannon would be nice. Pankratops, let's see what we can get. Man, these stands are full of surprises. Really love them. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite pool of this video. Full active duplex. And hopefully your favorite pool isn't pulled yet. I mean, that would mean that we have still a very insane card that we will pull. I trust that we have Star Staring Knight, Talonite Laren, and Tillemans Paligia for our secret. We got, oh nice, he had a fire channeler. Beautiful card. And Winged Karibo, we did it again, four times in a row. Another card printed on the box, so insane. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's not that these cards are so, um, like, important nowadays. Not a lot of people play Winged Karibo, for example. But I just personally love these nostalgic cards. In these uh, rarities that's so cool I prefer pulling that than a card of a archetype which is relevant but I don't play so absolutely amazing realm elegy card scanner small scuffle we got Gishki grimness we have Protection of Horus, beautiful, uh, beautiful artwork, Tribrigate Arms, Bicephalus 2, we have, oh nice, Sinful Spoils of Subversion Snake Eye, talking about relevant, and for our QCR, can we make it 5? <laughs> yeah we can, but unfortunately it's a card we already pulled, so a bit unfortunate. With such a big set, but hey, it is what it is. Maybe I have to clarify myself. Different cards printed on the box. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is our last mega pack of this opening. 25th anniversary team, Dueling Mirrors. What an amazing opening this was already. Let's see if we can end this off with a banger. Oh. We have branded in Central Dogmatica, Numeron Creation. We got Invasive Alien Species. The Bestial Aluba. Nice. Rescue Ace Preventer. Alright, for our secret. Ooh, Vanquish Soul Raisin. Beautiful. And our last QCR, guys. What will it be? Alright. Um, this could be a... I mean, this could be a Blue Eyes. Oh, it's another Exodia piece. Wow. Talking about ending this with a banger. We got the left arm of the Forbidden One this time. Oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful. I really have to... Complete this set, man. This looks so insane. I really have to complete it. <laughs> there is no other way. Wow, beautiful. Pendulum Pendant and Purely Shirley. So, guys, what an opening. Damn. I really like the setup of these packs with three Ultras. One uh, Secret, one QCR. That means fire in every single pack. And we did have fire in every single pack. Very nice ultras. Some really cool relevant cards. We do have beautiful uh, secrets. Fire Chandler. You got the Mikenko. Snake Eyes. Horus Car. Spirit of Ubel. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, the beauties, the treasures of this opening. We got the Exodia piece. We have the Silent Boost, the Wing Karibo. Look at this one. 
can't keep my eyes off that. We got Borrow Load. Amazing. We got the other Exodia piece. And Ubel, of course. What a way to start with this opening was this. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed this Dueling Marathon. Absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this tin. In my opinion, it's a really cool product. As I said, the only downfall is uh, that it's such a big set. But, to be honest, it didn't bother me in this, uh, in this opening because we pulled absolutely fire. So... Let me know. Um, don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it, of course. Uh, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this. And check out the Instagram page, Kings TCG Loba Yu Gi Oh! I'll put the link in the description down below. Guys, thanks again for watching, and as you all know, it join the gang. Ciao!